Hi, I'm Jonathan Extract. I graduated from Mather in 2011, and uh, we're filming from northeastern Illinois' uh, basement, which is The Wizard, which is our 100-watt uh, college radio station, uh, and I work here as manager uh, currently. All right, thank you, Jonathan. All right, Jonathan, again, a recent graduate, relatively, from Mather High School. All right, Jonathan, answer this question, please, to your best ability. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have... I think I would have applied myself uh, from the beginning in a lot of the after-school activities, junior year and senior year. I mean, being involved in things like Poetry Club, in the play, and uh, talent show were really the hallmarks of, of what I remember from school. And uh, e at Mather, uh, being a public school, I mean, it anywhere, I mean, it's, it's the community of teachers there, if you apply yourself in those things, I really think that you can get a lot out of the high school experience. Um, and if I would have started earlier, I think I, there would have been more wealth to uh, have gained from that. Great. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. And that's, that's helpful for our House of Performing Arts, but as a, a, anything that you do. Thank you. All right. After graduation, I was most surprised to find out... Uh, I would think I was most surprised to find out how much I loved uh, education. Uh, you know, high school can be really... Uh, uh, you can feel very trapped. A lot of people are telling you you have to, you have to do and you have to learn this and this. And uh, I'm not sure that even going back, I, if I wanted to apply myself uh, with the brain that I had then, you know, if I could have uh, gotten as much out of it. Now, once you get out of there and you're in, a, in the college environment and uh, you want to pursue things on your own accord, uh, it's, it's really uh, refreshing uh, because you're treated like an adult. And uh, I found that education is really my passion in life. And I think that um, I'd like... I would, uh, I think that is surprising for, on a, a lot of levels, especially because the institutionalized uh, high school environment. Um, with that said, there's still a lot of really great things in high school, a lot of teachers and things, but uh, that was the biggest surprise for me. Great, thank you. Hello, I am Kelly Curcioni. I graduated in 2012 and it is currently 2013, so I've been out of school for a year. Excellent. All right. All right. Kelly, right away, we're going to get right into this. All right. If I answer this question, please, to the best of your ability. If I knew then what I know now, I would have... Well, I probably would have spent more time focused. I, in high school, I kind of, I never really looked forward to going. Um, I constantly contemplated dropping out. Um, and I can honestly say that the only reason why I stuck around is because of the after-school activities I was involved in. So, um, I found some great people through the after-school activities, so that's the only reason why I, um, bit the bullet and finished. Rock and Roll Club. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, excellent, and that's a good thing to hear. Thank you. Okay. After graduation, I was most surprised to find out... After graduation, I was most surprised to find out that my world didn't stop. I kept the same momentum going, and I even picked up pace. Um, I frequently ran into fellow high school students and realized that their world didn't stop either. Um, they kept on going. There is some truth in that. High school is a chapter of my life that I will always hold dear. I cannot imagine my life if I were to drop out. Seems like I was meant to meet those people and build those bridges. Very good, thank you. Uh, my name is Ariel Gerson. I uh, went to Mather around 04 to 08, a little give or take. Uh, it was fun, it was fun. I enjoyed being there. All right, yeah. all right, welcome Ariel. All right, just have a couple of questions for you, or four or five or more. All right. All right, first one. If I knew then what I know now, I would have... I definitely would have asserted myself to graduate. I would have listened to teachers uh, who wanted me. Because there were, there were times where I wasn't on track. I was very much off track. Um, 
I would have listened to them to help me get back on track and graduate, definitely. Um, I would tell myself that it's yes, it's good to have fun, but life is harder than than it actually is. It really is, and I I. I'm actually embarrassed sometimes because I didn't graduate, um, but I would have been more I would have believed in myself more. Maybe that's what I'm going for here. That's honest, and thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, good. Thanks again for expressing it and doing this for sure. Yeah. All right. After leaving Mather, I was most surprised to find out... Life isn't easy. Like I, I said it, you, you just heard me say it, I'll, I'll say it again. Um, there's no silver platter out there. There isn't. There's dirt road and nasty people who get in your way, who will slow you down. Um, who will help you, who will tell you that your dreams are ridiculous, but they're really not, and it's really, man, this question hit me hard, um, yeah. man, after high school, man, you'll, you'll remember who your real friends are, they'll help you, they'll help you stay on track, um, Especially after you've gotten off track, like I have, um, a few good friends who I remember who I've had since high school, we're all doing great now, or doing better than we were, um, and we we support each other. One of them's in the military. I hope he's doing all right. Um, that's the path he chose, but that's that's his choice, I guess, really. Great, yeah, thank you. Um, I, I like the point you just made about registering early. That I think that sounds like a very practical. What, what would be some very practical steps that someone should take, even a junior, any grade, really? You know, start thinking about college. What are some very practical steps that that you would think that would be good? You know, uh, I would, um, yeah, I would just tr do everything ahead of time. You know, keep it, keep yourself, keep yourself six months in advance. You know, for things like this, um, it's a lot of people that really want to help you at Mather. I found that I'm sure they're still there. The person doing the interview with, wants to help you. Everybody wants to get you to college, and it's not that hard. I didn't put a lot. I didn't put a super amount of energy in getting to Northeastern. Uh, the teachers helped me get here, and uh, a lot of times it's like putting the fish or whatever in water. Where once you get into the water, it's like you can take off running. Um, so that's my personal experience, uh, but I would just say, you know, do the, the whole you know, dream school and then your second stuff like that. I don't have a huge amount of experience. I kind of was like, uh, Northeastern, and then I've had the luck of having something like the wizard be here. Great. So that's that's really good to know. Like, So sometimes the door can open that you haven't seen yet because you got here. Yes. And that's, that's something I experienced too in college too. Like there's things I never thought about. So. And thank you for expressing that. If there's, let's see, what motivated you? Because you were very, you know, you wanted to talk, you know, mm -hmm. and on this thing, and I really appreciate that. So, what motivated you to want to participate with this project? My sister, um, bright kid, uh, very talented when it comes to like the dramatic arts, um, but she was bullied to an extent, I guess. Uh, she let herself get bullied and. That led to self-doubt, you know, I, I can't make it in what I want to truly go into. Um, and it was hard to see my sister go through that, because it's sort of what I went through. But she is 19, so she's still at that high school age. Um, and she dropped out, which leads to more doubt, which leads to depression, which just takes you down this terrible path that you just, you really don't want to go down. I've been down there, and it's, it's rough. You lose friends, you know, people look at you different because of how you used to be. But, you know, she's she moved on to a 
well, hopefully a better start, to try to get a better start, I guess. Um, and maybe that's what some people need, to just move on. Because there are places where it's just, just negativity everywhere. And it's, that's a horrible thing, negativity. It'll, it's just, it's an anchor that pulls you down when you need to really strive. And I'm happy I got a, out of it, and hope she does too. She's a bright kid. And everybody has their own talents. Truth. That's very true. And their own time for it, too. Yeah. Um, you're presenting some very deep th thoughts and thinking, Ariel. And and these are things that don't know everyone realizes during yeah. high school. You know, yeah. you think about yeah. pass this class, get this, get this many credits. So, you know, especially now it's so yeah. much. But those things are very important to consider, certainly because they're very real and they carry on. And they expand after yeah. years. Um. If we got to put a soundtrack onto this video, what would you recommend? <laughs> Man, I listen to so much music, I, I, I honestly couldn't even tell you. Um, it'd have to probably be a reggae song, just because there's so much... It's, it's such a beautiful genre of music, because there's nothing negative going on. It's all positive, it's all upbeat, it's about spreading love, about gaining knowledge, um, just connecting with people. So I'd probably say a reggae song. What reggae song? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. There's just so many. Uh, but, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's a hard one. It really is a hard one. Hey, you got it. I'm going to leave it on that right. positive, upbeat note. Yeah. And I thank you for your time. Of course. Okay, uh, anything else that you would like to add to our current students at Mather as a post-graduate, as a graduate of Mather? Anything else you'd like to add to it? Well, as a graduate of Mather, um, I can say just keep on pushing. I mean, like I said before, it may seem like it's a very long time at high school, and trust me, when it's over, it's over. There's no going back. I mean, you can you try to make up your credits or whatever, but just go to college. Please, go to college. Go get that career. <laughs>